So you hear a lot about alpha wolves and status in wolf family groups. And the reality is that just like any family, there's an order that exists, but that order tends to be both age-based and also somewhat flexible depending upon the circumstances. And right now we're seeing a fascinating dynamic happen here, uh, particularly with these three animals. Um, they're closer in age, so a Kutak is 14 and a half, and um, she's at a point where we generally keep the other girls away from her so we don't end up with anybody getting hurt. Um, the boys can go in with her because they're more afraid of her, and so when they get rough, she just puts them in their place. But, um, and Noonie, hey, stop eating my pants, buddy. <laughs> he likes to try to chew the zippers off my pants. Hey, but I'm gonna ip, ip, ip. He's my puppy and he's just relentlessly rude. But the real interesting dynamic here is, so he's a year and five months and those two are two years and five months. And um, they are related only in that they've been together from less than two weeks old, but um, they are not um, litter mates. And I'm, and I'm curious because they've been together so long um, and so early, whether they have any awareness that they're not actually litter mates. I think it's unlikely, but they have a changing status I find super interesting. So um, I originally expected because Sonny was a little bit larger that Sonny would sort of maintain a slightly authoritarian posture with Mooney. But it quickly became apparent that even though Sonny was a little bigger, that Mooney was more intense. And as a result of that, uh, we called Mooney, Mooney Badger the Angry Weasel. As a result of that, Mooney um, would tend to, in various circumstances, be slightly aggressive towards Sonny and take a dominant posture. And, he, and even from this video right now, you can see that Mooney's got her tail sticking up and she's a little bit pilo erected and she's even uh, doing a chin rest over the top of Sonny. And Sonny looks a little intimidated, which is how it typically is. Um, Noonie here, as a male, um, is just kind of like the goofy, the goofy little brother who just sort of gets in the way and people growl at him and he sometimes growls back, but he's not confident enough to assert himself in any meaningful way with the girls. And of course, Iknik here, who's our fully grown male, um, is both super low key, but also unquestionably rules when he wants to, because he's, he's Iknik. Um, Sonny, or rather Mooney and Iknik are clearly for each other. They chose each other almost, almost the minute that I brought, almost the minute that I brought uh, Mooney home. It was pretty obvious that she and Iknik were going to be a pair. And uh, sorry for the distraction. We have a vehicle pulling up onto the land by our property, and I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, but anyway. Um, Pretty clearly, Iknik had a preference for Mooney, although he didn't in any way assert himself over, um, over the other animals as a result. He just clearly liked her better. Um, but Mooney um, went into estrus her first year, which is very unusual, and uh, immediately started dominating Sonny a lot more. Sonny came into heat as well, but it was very short-lived. It was like Mooney dominated her out of estrus. Um, and then, uh, that status remained largely Mooney would not really, um, significantly aggress towards Sonny, but would just be slightly, slightly dominant, rest her chin over, um, when they would be competing for one another, for example, um, or competing for my attention, for example, Mooney would tend to be a little bossy with sunny but no 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 violence no 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 fights no injuries nothing like that and that that had been pretty consistent and i kind of assumed that would probably be sort of a fixed status just between the two of them that they had sort of figured that out although i sort of 
considered and, and continue to consider the possibility that during breeding season, we might end up in a situation where the girls cannot be together. And, and that could become a permanent thing. A lot of times, captive wolves, unlike wild wolves, um, develop animosity, which because they can't get away from each other, results in um, permanent separation being the, the best scenario to avoid anybody getting hurt because we don't want big fights. Um, and you might even see something here as they kind of are both right here, maybe competing for me a little bit. But in the last two weeks, all of a sudden, they must have had some kind of a dispute. I saw a couple of pretty intense interactions where Sonny had seemingly come out on top. Mooney was suddenly submitting to Sonny, which I hadn't seen before. Um, and, uh, and I was like, oh, wow, something big happened. And now this morning, it appears that once again, Mooney has, Mooney likes coffee and she's after my cup. Um, Mooney has somehow um, regained her confidence and all of a sudden, Sonny appears to be a little, little timid to Mooney again. But it's a super interesting thing to see those dynamics play out. It's one of the reasons we keep our animals in. And here, Mooney is putting Nooney in his little place, even though Nooney is actually twice her size, right? Almost, almost exactly twice her size at this point. But uh, he's not confident. And the boys are always, the boys are always pretty good to the girls. Like when the girls get serious about being bossy, the boys, the boys, well, if, Ik, if, if, if you talk is bossy to Iknik, he, he submits to her. He doesn't want to push it. With the girls, Iknik sort of just, retains the upper hand in a gentle but stern way and everybody's the boss of the puppy because everybody's always the boss of the puppy right noonie you're the bottom of the bottom of the heap even the dog is a boss of you a little bit huh because he's the puppy but it's been a super fascinating thing to watch these dynamics play out and as things move into this next breeding season which is um this will be the third winter for sunny and noonie and the second winter for noonie I, I expect we'll have a lot of interesting behaviors that uh, we haven't chronicled for social media before. So stay tuned for more if you like learning about wolves and wolf behavior and what we do here at the Tahoe Wolf Center. Like and subscribe. And if you want to join our community uh, as a paying member, that helps us a lot. And um, if you do that, you should also follow me over on TikTok because you can't direct message me here. And what I'll need from you if you join as any level of my community is your mailing address because I send out a personal welcome gift for every new member. So with that, it's Oliver the Wolf Guy and Mooney. And Mooney, who's up there now. And Sonny, who's somewhere else. We have a big habitat, obviously. Um, signing out for now. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.